Hello, everyone. Going to wait and see if anyone comes in. Today, we're going to do what's called an oracle reading. And this is the place oracle. Card reading. And to read from the back of the box, it'll explain what this is. The Place Oracle is a 78-card oracle deck. This deck will give you messages and guidance on where events will unfold or which place to visit to achieve desired outcomes. There is no guidebook included with this deck. These are meant to be used completely based on your own intuition and interpretation. They also may be used in conjunction with any other tarot oracle decks. And today, along with that, I have a spirit box, which I'm not going to use as a regular spirit box. This also has an alarm. It is a, a pro. So, when turning that on, you see the light blinking there. This is a temperature light. If anything gets close to this, it will alarm. Now, I cannot make it alarm in any way. It has to be something close to it to set the alarm off. Even the phone will not affect it. Let me reset it. Oh, I don't need to. See, even the phone cannot set this alarm off. Only energy that approaches this can set it off. So we're going to set that here. To see if anything with energy comes close. Okay. The deck is very large. 78 cards. And as you can see, I lit my candle again. And I prayed that nothing evil can come in or around my home. I want to use these oracle cards for, as a place to find a place, if you're looking to find a place. And when I was seeing this, I was thinking of Sebastian Rogers. And up there, my blue light went off as soon as I said that. And I do not want to put out any false information. I do not want to put out any accusations there is entirely too much of that out already. This case needs to be focused on finding Sebastian and finding Sebastian only. It should be left up to law enforcement and people need to follow facts and facts only. So as I was shuffling the cards, I prayed. And these are the cards that I got. So, hopefully, you'll understand why I'm using this deck. Again, we got an alarm. Thank you. And I'm hoping that maybe if this will help lead to Fawn Sebastian, that's what I want to use this for, not for false information. But everything I got... To me, I do believe there is, as law enforcement stated, we have to believe there is no, no evidence of foul play in this case. So when I was shuffling the cards, that's what I kept in mind and in my heart. So the cards that come up kind of led me in one direction. So now I'm going to share them with you. The first card is the forest card. 
And as you look at the photo, you're seeing an old cabin, a creek, wood, an area. And the card states a secluded retreat, cozy fireplace, or remote getaway. If Sebastian did leave on his own, he could have went to the woods. This is what I'm interpreting from this. It's a wooded area with a creek in an old cabin. The next card, a winding path. It states a curving trail, twisting route, mendering passage. Again, I'm seeing woods. So I'm interpreting this as a wooded area. Again, this was another card. The second card that I drew. The third card. Mystic Haven. Enchantment. This is a It says that it is a magical intrigue. Hidden wisdom. Again, I'm seeing woods. Again, a wooded area. Everything keeps leading me to a wooded area. The next card. A wind-swept region. Breezy gust, whirling winds. Airy expanse and dancing leaves. Again, I think it is insinuating the woods. Everything I keep getting is wooded. The next card, damp, rainy realm. Moisture abounds. Wet serenity. Drizzly delight. And again, where do you see mushrooms? In a wooded area. So, what I'm getting from these, when I ask, is there a place that we can look for Sebastian? All of these come up as a wooded area. A forested area. Now it's showing me the chat. Before it wasn't showing me a chat. So this is what I'm getting. And there I'm getting another beep as well. And the final card that I got. Was roses. Floral delights. Gardening joy, blooming collars, and plant care. And right now, everything is beginning to bloom and blossom in the wooded areas. Like your laurel, your... Um, all the different wildflowers. So again, to me, another indication of the wooded area. I think more people in my opinion, should be less judgmental, less biased in judgment, and maybe consider the fact that, yes, Sebastian did wander off in the middle of the night. And maybe he did go to a wooded area. Maybe an area where there's an old cabin. Ah! 
a stream woods if there's a, something in that area maybe it should be checked because again these are place oracle cards looking for a place again a winding path more woods very wooded curving trail twisting route mendering passages a passage sorry again look at all these woods again i'm getting a wooded area the mystic haven again i'm seeing woods possibly an old building In the windswept region, breezy gusts, whirling winds, airy expanse, and dancing leaves. And where do you see dancing leaves? Generally in a wooded area. And mushrooms, ding up in rainy realm. Moisture abounds, wet serenity, drizzling delight. I really feel that this is again related to a wooded area. You generally find mushrooms in a damp wooded area. Oh, and there's that blue light again. Thank you. Possibly confirmation. And then the garden. Floral delights, gardening joy, blossoming colors, and plant care. Again, right now the woods are blooming. I keep getting the blue light over there. They're blooming with all the wild laurel, the wild flowers in the wooded areas. So again, this could even be related, in my opinion, to a wooded area. And this is what I'm, I'm getting from this reading. And I do not want to be one to come on YouTube and put out false accusations or rumors. I was a grandmother of a missing child. I know what that feels like. The helplessness. You you want to go look, but you don't know where to look. You want to reach out to anyone that you think can possibly help. And in my case, when I asked law enforcement, what can I do when they came to my home and woke me up and uh, informed me that my granddaughter was missing? They informed me to stay home, stay close to the phone, in case she would come there. And to allow law enforcement to do what they do best. So I prayed, and I asked God to give law enforcement all the tools and knowledge that they needed to help find my granddaughter. And they brought her home safely. And they did what they do best. They found my granddaughter. So I'm not going to go on YouTube and accuse people. My granddaughter, when she ran away, she ran to the woods as well. She was hiding. But through proper investigation, through leads, Law enforcement brought her home safely. So I'm praying that in any case with any missing child, that people step back and allow law enforcement to do their job. 
accusing people gets you nowhere. And you have so many emotions that you go through with a missing child. Shock, anger, you worry, you don't sleep, you walk the floors. It's, it's not anything that you want anyone to go through. So people need to be more thoughtful about what they're putting out there. I have to listen to law enforcement. I have to follow the facts. And they are stating that there is no evidence of foul play. So I know I myself am going to sit back and hope and pray. And that's one thing we all should do. Pray. Thank you. There's my alarm. Thank you. Pray for law enforcement to have all of the equipment that they need, all the help that they need, all the proper and legitimate tips that they need to bring home Sebastian, to bring home all these missing children. There's too many missing children in the world today. And I think if, as a YouTube channel, we could bring together more YouTubers to use our platforms correctly to put out only facts to if you can help with the search if it's organized and if it's approved through law enforcement working along with law enforcement yes do that if you're going out on your own just make sure that you're prepared, that people know your location. And at this time of year, there is snakes. Make sure that you properly snake-proof yourself. But don't overstep our boundaries as YouTube channels. Again, I know firsthand how it feels to be informed that you have a missing child. When my granddaughter went missing, I was beside myself. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. She was 13, out in a world all alone by herself, and the emotions that you go through. It's similar to the same emotions you would go through if you were mourning a child. You go through shock, anger. You completely deny. Denial is, oh, it's denial, you know. And then what if, what if, what could I, I what could I have done to prevent this? What should I have done to prevent this? More YouTubers need to use our social platforms in the best ways, in the right ways. And that's how I choose to use mine. If any of the information that I can bring forth will help possibly find a missing child and I feel that that's what I'm led to do, then I will do it. But I will do this in an unbiased and unjudgmental way without accusations. There's too many of that, too many people out there already doing that. And I will not be part of it. I was very lucky. 
that my daughter, my granddaughter was found safe by law enforcement that she was brought home many teenagers do run away and we have to accept that there is no, nothing no evidence to prove anything different in Sebastian Rogers case so I hope me putting this video out will maybe help others to stop and think go back to the beginning listen to the dispatch calls listen to what they were saying where they were searching law enforcement is doing everything they can maybe we don't see it but believe me they are doing everything they can to bring home Sebastian and not only Sebastian but all law enforcement dealing with missing children are following every lead they are using every tool that they have available to them we need to put more faith in law enforcement and allow them to do what they do best I hope this may have touched somebody today maybe helped someone look in a direction that maybe they hadn't looked before and again, today I'm using the Oracle Place card deck. And again, the Place Oracle is a 78 card deck. This deck will give you a message and guidance on where events will unfold or which place to visit to achieve a desired, to achieve desired outcomes. There is no God, God, God book with this, which is included in the, with the deck. These are meant to be used completely based on your own intuition and interpretation. They also may be used in conjunction with other tarot oracle cards. So this is what we're using today. Along with the spirit box which I'm not using as a spirit box there it is see that alarm that cannot be set off by a phone or by hand it is a temperature alarm so something must come close to it even my phone cannot set it off so something must be close to it that would change the temperature in the room Again, I lit my candle and I prayed. Can you step away, please? Thank you. Again, I prayed over the cards before I shuffled them. I lit my candle, I have my sage, and I ask that nothing evil could befall this reading. And I did a reading for Sebastian Rogers, looking for a place. And again, I'm gonna go back through these. I got a forest cabin forest, woods, a secluded retreat, cozy fire pit, place, remote getaway, but I'm seeing a stream and woods, possibly an old cabin or building in the woods, in the forest. A winding path, again, 
forest. Everything I'm getting today is a wooded area. So maybe continue to search wooded areas, please, if you can, and do it safely. Again, the next card. Mystic Haven, again, a wooded area, possibly an older building. I'm seeing a path again. Again, I'm seeing woods again, a wooded area. Windswept region, breezy gust, whirling winds, airy expanse, and dancing leaves. Dancing leaves, I'm, I'm seeing trees, I'm s dancing leaves, again, a wooded area. Damp and rainy realm, moisture abounds, wet serenity drizzling delight look at these mushrooms i think of the woods mushrooms grow in the woods in a dark damp place again i'm being led to woods and the last one i got is a garden floral design delights sorry Gardening joy, blooming colors, and plant care. And right now, if you were in the woods, this is what you would see. You would see blooming wild laurel or wildflowers. So again, I really think this is also related to a wooded area. So everything that I'm getting today seems to all point to a wooded area. Oh, and there's my alarm. Is that confirmation? Thank you. Can you step back, please? Step away. Thank you. Now, there's no way that I can set this alarm off. It has to do it on its own. It's a temperature gauge. It works similar to the K2 meter. Step away, please. Thank you. Again, I wanted to come with a reading, an oracle card reading, with no accusation. No bias. I want to believe 100% that law enforcement is doing what they do best. If they get credible trip tips, credible tips, they will follow any lead. They will do everything that they possibly can do to bring a missing child home. I have seen it firsthand. I experienced it firsthand. And I cannot explain the overwhelming joy and thankfulness I had when law enforcement returned my missing granddaughter home safely. And please pray for the parents and all the loved ones involved in any missing child because there is so much tension and worry and exhaustion and they will reach for anything, anything that they can believe in that will help bring their child home. So do not put false hopes out there. Do not put false accusations out there. When my granddaughter went missing, it was unreal. There was false accusations. There was 
law enforcement being misled with false tips. But I trusted what that officer told me that night when I was woken up in the middle of the night and informed that my granddaughter was missing. Thank you. Yes, this comes from the heart. Can you step away? Thank you. This comes from the heart as a missing granddaughter. She was my world. All my grandchildren, all four of them are my world. But to be woke up in the middle of the night and law enforcement is explaining that your granddaughter has went missing and that they were hoping that she had came to my home. I wish she would have came to my home, but she did not choose that. And I looked at that officer with tears running down my face, my heart beating out of my chest, in total shock, and said, what can I do? Where do I look? Where do I go? What? And he said, ma'am, gently, calmly, he said, ma'am, the best thing that you can do is stay home and stay by the phone in case you would come here. And please allow law enforcement to do what we do best. And I believed in him and I believed in law enforcement. And it was not easy. It was a long two weeks. I don't know how often I even slept or ate. All the things that you go through emotionally, mentally, hoping, waiting every time the phone rings. You do not want to be in that position I was, and I would not wish that on anyone. The world needs more kindness, love, and prayers. And if that's what I need to use this channel for, that's what I'll do. But I will not come on here and condemn anyone I will not judge anyone. That is not my job. I would love to see social media become more fact-based. Thank you. There's my alarm again. Can you step away, please? Thank you. Please step away. Thank you. And my channel is a paranormal channel, so I do believe in the paranormal because of experiences that I have had. That's why I started my channel as a paranormal channel. But if you can also use your channel and your platform to bring more awareness to missing children cases, to keep them from becoming cold cases, based on fact-related evidence only, not rumors, not speculations, and again, all of this is my opinion, and my opinion only. And this is for my channel. This is what I feel about what I want to put out into the social media. What others do with their channels and their platforms is up to them. 
that social media can be very, very helpful in bringing home the missing. Unfortunately, social media can be so hurtful. Thank you. Again, it's alarming. Can you step away, please? Thank you. And I know, me as a person, I'm not perfect. And I don't think anyone is perfect. And if you are, and you're watching this, and you're perfect, raise your hand. Throw the first stone. We all make mistakes, but we learn from our mistakes. And we grow from our mistakes. And I hope if there is someone out there that has a missing child that is seeing this today, I know what you're going through. I was in the same position as you. And I will pray for you and all of your loved ones that your missing child is returned safely to you. And I will not put out anything false. I will believe in law enforcement. They proved to me in my granddaughter's missing case that they can do what they're supposed to do. And they did bring my granddaughter home. So I want to use my platform to bring forth facts and facts only provided by law enforcement. Not to accuse, not to be biased. This is how I want to run my platform. And again today, I'm using the Oracle, the place Oracle cards, which are created if you want to find a place or look for someone or, or a place. So I did do this for Sebastian. And this is what I got. I do believe I'm seeing the wooded areas. Again, the woods, a cabin, maybe a small creek. Another one, a winding path. Again, look at the woods, the wooded area. Maybe a small pathway through the woods. Again, I'm getting woods. Even in this one, the Mystic Haven, I'm seeing, look at all these woods, look at the trees, and maybe again, maybe an abandoned old cabin or an abandoned building in the woods. Again, windswept region. Breezy gusts, whirling winds, airy expanse, and dancing leaves. Again, a wooded area. A damp and rainy realm. Look at these mushrooms. Moisture abounds. Wet serenity. Drizzling delight. Again, where do you find mushrooms? In a wooded, dark, damp area. Again, woods. And the final one that I drew was the garden. Floral delights. Gardening joy lost new collars and plant care. Again, what would you see right now in the woods? We have wild laurel and it's blooming and all the wildflowers are blooming in the wooded area. So this also could be a wooded area.
So if there is people out there looking, maybe continue to check the woods. Make sure that you let people know your location. Make sure you snake proof yourself. Right now the snakes are out and tick proof yourself. But if there's a wooded area that you can go through and check, check it very closely. Again, this is what I'm getting. And I'm not here, again, to put out any accusations. I'm not going to be biased. This is my platform to use as I want to use it. And again, as a grandmother of a missing granddaughter, I know what it's like. I know what it feels like to be informed in the middle of the night that your ch grandchild is missing at 13 years old. The emotional stages that you go through you are exhausted mentally, physically, emotionally. You pray, you cry, you get angry. You are desperate for anything, anything that can lead you. Oops, sorry, it's my dog. He's getting older. But this is not something you want to wish on anyone, any family, any loved one. But when law enforcement asked me to allow them to do what they do best, it was not an easy two weeks. Very little sleep. Very little did I eat. I was mentally and emotionally exhausted. But I did as they asked. I stayed home by my phone and I allowed law enforcement to do what they do best. And they found my granddaughter and brought her home safely. So please understand why. This is my point of view. So I hope this may help somebody in their searching. I hope and I pray that Sebastian is brought home to his family, to his loved ones. I pray for every missing child out there, every missing person, child or adult. But please, if you can even for one day be kind to someone, the world needs more kindness, more love. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this now I hope that this maybe will bring something to a case. There's that oh, my alarm again for confirmation. Thank you. Can you step away, please? And again, I'm coming with no judgment, no bias, no accusations. It's very, very possible that Sebastian Rogers did run away. He may possibly have went into the wooded area. That's what I'm getting here is woods. I know when my granddaughter ran away, the first tip they got was that she was in a wooded area. So children, teenagers, my granddaughter was 13. She did run away. She did her first place was, and she went to the woods to hide. That was the first tip that they got. And that was the first confirmation they got from her. So yes, teenagers do run away. Sometimes they don't even think about why they're running away. They just run away. My granddaughter was going through a lot. She didn't want to talk to people about it. And instead of doing that, she ran away. 
So yes, teenagers run away. Trust me, I went through this. So please, if you want to do something, say a prayer. Not only for Sebastian and his family, but for every missing person. Try kindness, a little more love, less accusation, false rumors. These parents and loved ones do not need that. So I'm pleading with you. If you have a platform, please show kindness, show love. Pray for these families and for these missing children and missing people everywhere. It's not that hard to light a candle and pray. And it's not that hard to search your heart and find the right thing to do, which is do not judge. That is not my job. I'm not a judge, I'm not a jury, and I'm not law enforcement. I am just a grandmother who went through a missing child ordeal, my granddaughter. So please, do not judge these families. Don't give them false information. Don't put false facts out there. That is not what they need. If you have extra time in your day, instead of spreading a rumor, light a candle and pray for these missing children, for their families. And yes, it's very, very, very possible that Sebastian Rogers did run away. Teenagers run away. It happens. Unfortunately, it happens. I want to thank everyone who watches this video. I hope it brings some love and light into somebody's heart today. I just hope and pray that more and more social media platforms band together and stop the crazy rumors. Follow the facts and the facts only. Don't spend your time spreading rumors. The time that you could have spent to spread that rumor, again, you could have lit a candle and whispered a prayer for every missing child, every missing person and their loved ones, their families. So my message for today, if you see this, Show a little kindness, a little more love. That's what this world needs. And again, like I said, I'm not law enforcement. I'm just a nobody with a nothing platform. I'm not monetized. I don't want to make money in anything that I do for my channel. If I'm in doing any paranormal investigating and people want to donate money for more equipment or for me to go to an, a area or a particular place and investigate it, that's expensive, but I have done all of this on my own. I have not asked for any money. 
I'm slowly purchasing all of my equipment. And I do the paranormal because of my experience with paranormal. Me searching for those answers. That's why I created this platform. And then I felt led to try and maybe, possibly, show that people that read cards are not all judgmental and bias and bring forth false accusations. Some of us are real. Some of our gifts are real. My gift is real. And it's something that I have had to accept over time and years. But it has also helped me to become a better person. To have a more open mind, an open heart. And that's what this world needs today. It needs more love and light and understanding So again, if you've seen this and you want to comment, please be kind with your comments. I'm new to YouTube. Please be respectful with your comments. If you can share this video, that would be great. Like it, that would be great. Again, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to send out false rumors and false accusations. I use the place oracle cards today, show, showing how you can use them to look for a particular place. In my reading today, I prayed over the cards and I had Sebastian Rogers in my heart and I asked, is there a place we can look? And everything that I got is showing me a wooded area so search the woods if you can again snake proof yourself let someone know your location tick proof yourself because all this is out there now but please show a little love light a candle and pray today instead of listening to false rumors and false accusations follow the facts that's what these missing persons families and loved ones need follow the facts and let law enforcement do what they do best And I don't usually use these cards. This is something new that I started doing. But I also want to do this with no judgment, no accusations, and no bias. If you have a true gift, please use it correctly. Don't give people false hope. Don't put out false information and rumors. Allow law enforcement to do what they do best. And I'm going to close right now with a prayer. A small prayer. And I'm going to ask that my home be filled with love and light and only good spirits and kindness. And I ask that if there's any way that my gift or gifts can be used to help find people that are missing, that they're used correctly
this is my platform. This is how I choose to use it. Again, I am not monetized. I do not make any money. I do not ask for money. This I do out of the goodness of my heart. And that's what I want to continue to do. So again, if you comment, please be kind, be respectful. This is a new YouTube channel, and I'm new to YouTube. And again, I am a nobody with a nothing channel. But if I can spread just a little love today, a little light today, in this world, then I'm doing what I feel I need to do and what I need to use my platform for. So again, thank you for watching.